This video is for guys that want to make their beard look bigger, get more volume out of what they have. Now there are a ton of guys that watch this channel that are worried about their beard being too poofy or the awkward phase and they want help styling, controlling, and keeping it down and tight. Do not listen to this advice. This will not help you. But a lot of you have noticed over the last several months, my beard has been getting wider and bigger, and this is just a personal preference thing. As I've been growing my beard longer, I didn't want that narrow, streamlined look. I don't think that looks good for me personally. I wanted to match the girth in the body with the density and the length of the beard, and I found a trick as was given advice from other people, and it's really, really worked out for me. I'm going to show that to you guys in this video, and if you're new here, my name is Dan C. Bearded. Some of my subscribers like to call me the trusted teacher for all things beard related and I love making beards look good. I love being passionate about my beard, taking care of my beard. My morning routine is like therapy for me. That is my time. I love my family. I love my home life. But when I get to take care of my beard, that's all I'm thinking about. I'm just relaxing and this only adds to that and makes it a better experience. The final step in grooming or your morning routine for your beard for a lot of beardsmen is taking a brush, a boar's bristle brush, and going down your beard. Now, I have stopped doing that, but I've been very clear. I even had a video on it. There are different tools and different procedures for different stages of beard growth. A short beard should be groomed differently than a long beard and there's personal preference mixed in there. However you wanna style your beard, there's different methods that you can use to get there. But a lot of guys take that brush, they go down, it gives you that Velcro effect, it locks everything in place, and that's awesome, especially for short to medium beards. But I, as I said, I wanted my beard to get bigger. And if you're pushing everything in and locking it down, you're not getting that volume. So I can't really tell you the last time that I've used a boar's bristle brush. And again, in that video I made, I'll throw it up in one of the corners here. I think it's this one. Uh, so in this corner here, I'll show you guys that video. And I talk about, I don't use a boar's bristle brush anymore. And I showed the tools that I, I use. I went to a comb with a handle, still loving that. But the big tip that I have added is somebody told me, hey, why don't you get a pick comb? And of course I knew what a pick comb was, so I started my journey of trying to find things. I went on Amazon, I looked at Kent combs, because I love Kent combs, I know the quality, but it didn't have the best reviews. A lot of people had said the Kent comb for the pick version had the little lines in the middle from the press that are gonna snag your beard, it was small, it just didn't work, especially for the price. So I found this bad boy on Amazon. Have no idea the company's name, never spoke to the company, have no affiliation with them whatsoever. But I found this because it seemed like a good size. I wanted a good size comb and I wanted long teeth with a good solid spacing between them, but not too much. And I wanted it to be a smooth plastic. So I looked at all the pictures and this one appeared to not have those lines or the press marks in between. And it was $7.99, $8 on Amazon. Not for one though, <laughs> but for four. So $2 a comb and there's free returns. This was a returnable product. I thought, hey, I'm cheap, I'm frugal, but I can go with $8 to try something and then possibly make a video about it in the future. And this really changed a lot for me. It has helped my beard immensely. So how I use this pit comb is I go through my normal routine. I get out of the, out of the dryer, no, I get out of the shower. I dry my beard to about 75% dry, AKA it's damp. I apply my oil. I comb it through with my, right now I use the Buffalo, the Buffalo horn handled comb and I comb it through. I let it sit for five minutes. Some days I use heat, some days I do not. But my final step, I essentially have just taken what I used to do as the brush and I've replaced it with the pick. And I'm gonna show you guys here. I don't know how it's gonna turn out because I'm sitting down. I'm not in my bathroom. I don't have the big mirror in front of me. So I'm gonna look over here to this little tiny camera screen that I have. I know they make displays I can get. I get it, I get it. It's all natural process. One day I'll get that big, beautiful display. But 
This is all I would do. My beard is pretty much dry now. You know, I've let it sit for so long. The oil has absorbed in. And I'm just going to take this, this pit comb and I'm going to go in the direction and style that I want. So my front, I like to just bring kind of down and out a little bit, but my sides is where I really like to go. And again, the last step, and that's really important. So I just take this and I kind of go in a downward motion. I'm going at this angle here. I'm not good at math, but what is that? Like a 45 degree angle. And I'm just simply combing through. And the beautiful thing about the pick is this is going to get out any tangles, any snags. It just glides through. And I am by no means an expert or well experienced with pick combs. This is my first one. But this thing is really nice. It glides through my beard beautifully. I've never caught anything. I don't really see any of those press lines whatsoever. It just works. And again, it was $2 a comb. So I have a four pack. Am I going to use all four? Probably not, but I'll probably give it to my buddies. If you guys have Beardsman or somebody else, I know Sam likes to steal my tools all the time. If you buy the four pack, then you can give it to, to a Beardsman. And essentially what this does is it just separates the hairs just enough from that original grooming process of combing and oils. And a lot of that likes to bring everything in just to give it a little bit of fluff, just a little bit of body and a little bit of direction. Once I give it that direction out, it's going to help as it goes through. And I know it probably doesn't look perfect right now, and it's probably a little bit out there, but hey, this is kind of where it goes through there. So that is the biggest trick that I've had, and this is likely going to work for medium, long to long beards. If you have a short beard and you're picking it out, it's probably not going to be the best look. It's probably not going to be a, a huge game changer for you. But if you have a beard my size or longer or even a little bit shorter, it's something that you should consider. Okay, I'm going to collect my thoughts. I'll be back to you guys in two seconds. Conclusion in summary here for medium to long beards with your last step of grooming, replace the brush with a pit comb to add a little bit of volume. Now, again, this is totally personal preference. This has worked for me. I'm going to check in with you guys. I got a couple of questions here. If you can, please listen carefully because I believe we can help out some people here. First question. Number one, what is your preference for beard style? Are you looking for a little bit more volume and body or do you like it nice and tight? Do you like that Velcro? Do you like it a little bit more streamlined in there? Let us know your preference. Number two, if you do like volume and you've been adding volume to your beard, what do you do? Have you ever tried a pit comb? Do you have another method that works for you? I learned this from other people, like my buddy Drew Nitro. He said, hey man, you gotta try a pit comb, gotta try a pit comb. I finally did, and he was right, 100%. I never doubted him, but I'm just really cheap, and I don't like to buy new things. So I finally made the plunge, and man, oh man, I am happy. But let us know, is there something else that works for you to bring that body, bring that, that beard out? Because we're not gonna be growing bigger beards overnight. That takes time, but if there's a trick you can do overnight. Oh man, that's so satisfying. It's such a fun thing. So I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions on this, please drop it down below. I'll put a link to this Amazon uh, comb in the description. Check that one out guys. Or if you have another pick comb, if you've tried the count one, let us know in the comments. My name is Dan C. Bearded. Stay bearded and stay positive.